Patrick in Luxembourg writes to me, hey Paul, if you have an audio system that is fully balanced and you want to add a streamer, should it have an AES EBU connection to maintain the balanced features? I know that the XLR connection brings some benefits with it, like noise reduction, but I was kind of surprised that the air lens that you make, your streamer, doesn't have an AES EBU connection so that I could answer the question by myself, but I ask it anyway. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a great question. Our air lens does not have an AES EBU connection on it. So our air lens is a streamer. It's one of the more popular streamers out there because it is perhaps the best sounding streamer or certainly one of the very best. I think it's, I, I haven't heard one better out there yet. And, and that's for a whole bunch of reasons. The galvanic isolation, the way that we do this and that, and the connections and blah, blah, all that. So let's talk about AES-EBU, the Audio Engineering Society, at, uh, the European Broadcast Union. That's what AES-EBU stands for. They set a standard for digital audio that is this balanced connection, okay? And I always have been an advocate of balanced connections. You, you hear me all the time saying this entire system is completely balanced, right? And it is from the output of the preamp all the way over to the big BHK power amplifiers, that's all balanced. The preamplifier input, output of the DAC, all balanced. Where balancing doesn't matter is on a digital input, okay? So our preferred digital input is, well, anything that can correctly place the bits inside of a streamer or a DAC, okay? And you know that we like I squared S the best, and that's for a whole different reason, and it's not balanced. Uh, I squared S is the best using that HDMI connector because, which is at the output of your air lens, because the clocks and the data lines are separate. That's why it's better. And SPDIF or AES-EBU is multiplexed where the, the clocks and the data are, we call it multiplexing, but it puts it together, kind of combines the whole thing into one stream, and then we have to take it apart inside of the DAC, and that conversion process of putting it together, taking it apart, can have not great effects or not great results in the uh, performance, in the sonic performance. So it's better to leave it in its native format which is uh, the AES EBU. Um, I'm getting confused here. Too many, too, too many TLAs, three letter acronyms. There you go. Um, and it's not even three letters. Okay. <laughs> then the I squared S. Okay. So AES EBU is just a balanced version of SPDIF, Sony Phillips Digital Interface. And there really isn't an advantage to it where there is in analog. So the advantage of having a balance cable from my preamp to my amplifier is huge because any noise gathered along the way is eliminated. But we don't see that same kind of common mode rejection happening in a digital signal. So it really doesn't buy you anything and it would have been a, just another big connector on the back that really didn't buy anything for you. So, sorry, long-winded explanation. Once again, <laughs> can't shut the guy up. All right, hope that helps. Have fun with your airlines. All right.